Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. Um, I want to use some of the stuff that I got at um, Dollar Tree to make a card. I don't think these are going to work with this, but I wanted to make a card, and I was looking through the pap my papers and my paper pads because I earlier did a um, yesterday did a video on um, using, you know, one paper pad and the cutouts and whatever to get your, get a single card out of it. And then I used some of my stickers from Dollar Tree to finish up the card, to complete the card. And I have this from Tonic Studios. And I was just kind of curious if there was some way to make this look kind of fallish, even with the roses. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. But I just kind of wondered about it. So I thought there are like cutouts here um, and really this is more what you would call I would call it like a rustic romantic but there are some cutouts I don't know if I would use those I'm just and not see this would look good you know with all of this Stuff. But I just don't know. I just don't know about the fall. You know, I really don't think it's going to work. Because I don't think any of it's really going to love these postcard stuff. See, that would look good. But that's a waste, right, of the paper to use the back sides. And I don't think it's going to work. So hold on, let me... But look. I can do another, maybe I'll just go ahead and use... I don't have the dies to cut these out, and I'm sure it's tonic, so there must be dies to go with it. I don't know. Should I just stick with what I had planned, or do something completely different? I'm going to stick with what I have planned. I'm going to use this for something else another time so I'll be back let me I'll look for some more paper I'm gonna pause you okay I'm bringing out this green again and I'm gonna use this yellow and I need an envelope blank at this point let me see I'll use a five by seven And I'm going to put this down first, I believe, and then this, and then I can come in with my other stuff, and I think that's going to work. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm going to go, if I want to use my word, then I'm going to have to go this way. So I'll be going long ways with it. Wonder if I'm better off going. You know, I might do the green and then the yellow. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm mix it up a little bit here. Let me get my paper cutter. And I'm gonna go a five by seven. So oops, I don't want that. That's the yucky side. 
so five. Push it up there good. Make sure it's up there. Make sure it lines up. You want a straight cut. There's the five. And by seven. And this doesn't go to seven. So it is eight and a quarter inches. So I need to cut off an inch and a quarter. An inch and a quarter. And I'm going to make sure that's right. Get on the top. And there we go. Five by seven. And it's a little bit too big still. If you can see. So I'm just going to take... Just the teeny tiniest bit off. Make sure it's not on the top. Snug up on the top. That just keeps that paper straight. That might not have been enough. Well, I'm going to take a little bit more off here. Just the tiniest bit. And that should do it. Okay. And then I want to do this. So I'm going to say... Four and three quarters, that gives me eighth inch around. Do I want a quarter inch around? Four and a half. Gives me a bigger. Uh, half and six and a half. It might work. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the quarter inch. And then if I want it smaller later on I can do it smaller four and three quarters and then it should be six and three quarters and this is eight and a quarter so six and three quarters is going to be One and a half inches off. I hope. Sometimes I miscalculate. But let's see if that looks about right. That's really small, isn't it? Um, am I happy with that? I don't know. I'm going to just take a little bit off on each end. I think I'm going to go the other quarter inch. I think we'll do the other quarter. Well, that's going to be kind of difficult, isn't it? So six and a half. Can't do six and a half. And I can't take a quarter off. How am I going to do this? Ooh, I messed that up big time. Okay, I'm just going to go in what I think. That's not on there. It's not going to be straight. Let's see. 
Let's have a look now and see how accurate. It's gonna look. I think that's okay. All right. And so I also want to be sure all these papers. And this is where I tried coloring that. I want to be sure. I want this on here. So, I'm going to put this on now. Just across here. And this paper's not real thick. So, this might be a little bit tricky. It's easier. scissors somewhere and I'm not real sure where I gotta move all this stuff out of my way so I can what did I do with them Okay, I'm going to pause you. Sorry. Okay, it's just been a second because I thought, why not use my paper cutter? Right, so I want it just about figure out about where I want it. I want some, I'm plenty to go over, so right about on the O here. I don't know if this is bad or not to do this, but... Here we go, right about at the O on Splendor. And I want it to be a good cut. This has that wire in it. I didn't realize that. Okay. I should have. <sighs> Anyways. Let's see how this is going to work. So at first. If it's got the wire. Let me fold it here. And I'll just get it. out blessings and then it's going to be folded about here and of course I'm not going to tape those ends down until I'm positive I got it right so I want this be here. This can start there. So then here it's going to be there and that makes it straight. That's how I'm hoping this is going to work and I'm hoping you know I got some red liner tape. Do you think that would be better? No, because I don't have nothing to cut it with right now. Okay. So, I see where the folds are. I'm going to come in. Put some tape on here. And if I wasn't doing the video, I definitely, definitely would have got my scissors. 
been used. Something else to tack it down with. Although this might work pretty good, honestly. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure this is burnished on here pretty good. And then I'm going to bring this, okay. Okay, where you can see I've got it lined up here. It's even. I'm going to peel off the tape. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I got it the right way. I'm going to line it up on this line. this line. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to put some here. And some here. that back over on itself because I broke it too long. This. And now I can fold it over and stick it down. Fold it over and stick it down. And there we go. I think that's pretty cute. I mean, that doesn't look straight, but we know it was, right? Let's make sure it stayed straight. Okay, it's on that line. <coughs> Excuse me. And on that line. Okay, so that's straight, and that will go in here, and I'm going to go ahead, I think, and glue this down, and then, of course, it will have to be glued onto here, so let me go ahead and do that. And I'm going to want a good stick. straight okay. 
and that's going to need it's supposed to be quick drying glue I don't know how quick drying that glue is now I want to put it on here I think it's going to be better on this side, the way these cards are made sometimes. That's going to be a better side for it. So let me get glue on here. Let's see, this paper was a little messed up on this side, and you know what? Nobody's even going to know. Because it's a mat. And a lot of people cut their mats out. So really, basically, they're only using a frame. I don't do that. I always worry that it's going to be obvious that that layer, that paper's not layered underneath there. Maybe not, but that's what I worry about. So I don't cut it out. I can make sure I got it the right way. Okay, so there it is. And... This has to go this way, and I want it straight. So, there we go, I think. It kind of moved to the last minute. Gave a little wiggle. There we go. So that's down. Probably should have put some in the middle too, but I didn't. Because I was thinking the other stuff is going to be glued down or whatever. And we'll hold it on. And then we have these words. And this is going to give it some pretty good dimension. I believe. So it says faux leather and it's even kind of faux leathered here in the back I kind of wish it was a sticker but it's not blessed blessed oh maybe I should have thought about the fact that it's not going to stick out that well It's not standing out. It would be better like on the orange or something. I maybe could come in. And I wonder if I can ink it up. Ugh. I'm not going to try to ink it up. I'm going to leave it. I don't want to mess it up. But... Let's see what we got here. So, these little bitty sunflowers are so cute. I just thought, uh, going to have me some. See, I don't even have scissors to cut these off. Where did my scissors go? I'm that kind of crafter. You know, I just do. It just is the way. That I tend to craft. Organized and messy. Okay, come on out of here. Can I just pull them? No. I want to just twist. But that doesn't seem to want to work. So 
See, they come down here and they all get entwined together. Who knows a better way to do this? Somebody must. Seems like I should just be able to untwist them. But no. And I can't find the darn ends. I wish I could just take them off. I did. It just popped right off. Oh, look. Now watch them all fall apart after. Oh, I like that. I really do. You know, I like to do things in the odd number. I think I'm gonna come down a little bit and see. <coughs> what would be good in here? Pumpkins, the deer, I don't know about the deer. The pumpkins here. I don't know about that either. I want something from here, I think. I want to see what the deer is going to look like. He's so cute. He would have to go under. I don't think that works. Let me see. Pumpkin. Oh yeah, that goes. This pumpkin. And I wonder if I should do this way. That way. Does that look right? Hmm. You can't see the screen on the phone. I need to bring this down more. There we go. Now that messed you up though, huh? I don't know. I think I like it like this. So the stickers are down. The blessed it needs to go down. Let's see. I hope this glue is going to hold it. It needs a tacky glue. This is not a tacky glue. It says tacky, so it should work. I'm going to make sure that I've got plenty of glue on here. So when I put it down, I'm not going to real push, push. 
I'm going to ask the glue to please hold it down. We'll find out if this stuff's going to work, right? So I didn't push real hard, I just kind of did push, but not hard. I don't want to squeeze all that glue out. Okay, and now I'll put, this should probably, I probably should use the claw glue, but we'll see how this works. And then if it doesn't, then I'll get claw glue. going to take it a while to dry. Uh, look at I got glue down there. There, maybe there. Let's see if that glue is going to hold. I guess if it's not, I'll come in with some claw. Um... Well, I guess it's all claw, but you know that the, this stuff, three D, and I know that'll hold it. It's a little bit of a heavy card. I'm not gonna lie, but look, it looks cute. It looks so really cute. I do like it. And then, of course, if we wanted to do the thankful, that would look really cute, too. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to put the claw on. Hmm. Cute as a heck. It truly is. Okay. I hope you like this. I did. I enjoyed it immensely. So, it, you know, you just have um, a paper pad from Joann's, whatever, Michael's, Holly, Hobby Holly. Hobby Lobby, whatever. Um, what is it? Tuesday morning. Used to carry it a lot of crafting stuff, and I got a lot of paper pads from them. I don't know if they still do. I know they closed a lot of stores and stuff, and you just don't see the. I don't know if they're. You just don't see the videos and stuff anymore, but. You could get paper pads there, a really reasonable price. But you know, I mean, I think even Walmart has them. Um, but I mean, dollar twenty-five, and look, I, it's nine feet, and I, you know, I didn't even use a foot. Um, a dollar twenty-five for the sunflowers, a dollar twenty-five. For four of the words, and then dollar twenty-five for each one of these. 
so not too bad. Of course, you got your glue and your card and, and that, but still, it worked. So, thanks for joining me. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Bye-bye now.